Okay, today we have a new edition of a cold storage Bitcoin wallet. Just got it today. It's called the Tandem 2.0. I got the three card edition and we're going to open it up and check it all out. But first, I want to tell you just a little bit about it. I'm sure you've already heard of it, uh, but I uh, just need to let you guys know um, before we get started with it. All right, it's Tandem 2.0, three cards. Uh, a little bit about it is it's user friendly. Uh, it holds over 6,000 um, crypto assets. It's more durable than other wallets. Um, and the reason why it's more durable is because it's just got a chip inside with an antenna going around it. There's no screen to break or anything like that. Uh, you can create it with a seed phrase or without a seed phrase. And that's with a 12 seed phrase or 24 word seed phrase. Uh, it's got a tangent app that goes with the card and uses NFC, uh, which is pretty cool. It's only uh, phone based iOS or Android versus PC. You cannot use it for a PC. It's only for the phone. <clears throat> and it's got a buy, sell or swap feature within it from a third party if you wanted to go that route. It's a little bit more expensive, but you could go that route. All right, so like always, there are certain criteria that we must have in order for it to, to work for me. And I believe that's what would work for you. And because you want your assets, your cryptocurrencies or your Bitcoin secure. And that's, it's decentralized, it's encrypted, it's non-custodial, 12 or 24 seed uh, password recovery, just like I said earlier, which is great. Uh, it's open source. Uh, the app software is open source. The chip software is from Samsung and it is not open source, um, but I'm sure they made some sort of a deal with them, allowing them to use the chip without giving away the Samsung secrets of the chip. Um, so it's not too big of a deal for me for that not to be open source, as long as the code for the application is open source. Um, all right. Um, it comes in, which, which is kind of a cool thing that they, they created. It's not out yet. Right now it's a black card with a Tangem logo on the outside of it. Um, but what they're going to have is they're going to have different colors of cards. Gonna have pastel color cards, uh, I think a yellow, a blue, and maybe a tanish color. Um, but don't quote me on that. And then it's gonna have regular colors as well. Um, it's gonna have a covert card with no branding on it. And then they're gonna come out with a cold storage wallet ring uh, that's gonna have your NFC chip in the ring that you wear. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, me prefer, I pre would prefer just to have the card, but some people may like it, which is still kind of cool that they've got that out. Um, anyway, it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, I'm going to let you guys check it out. We're going to open it up and, and we're going to see what it's all about. So stand by and we'll get that ready. Okay. So we're back and here it is once again. Hopefully you can see that. We're going to open it up. It's got the cellophane plastic on the outside of it. And we're just going to peel it open. They used to have a seal on it, but I think the seal was a little too fragile. So they started shrink wrapping it. Um, and I think it was coming uh, to people's homes with it, the seal broken. So they probably have to work on a new seal or some sort of security feature like that for when you get it. Let's see, we're going to open it up. You're, you're seeing it the first time, just like I am. So just bear with us. All right. So here it is. The cards right here. Comes with, oops, 
three different cards. And here's what it looks like on the front. Here's what it looks like on the back. And it says, has a number on the back of it. I don't know what the number means yet, but it has a number on the back. And use this card. No, tap the card to your phone. So there's a showing, tap the card to the phone with a number on it. And then you just tap this to the phone apparently. And then that's how you program it. And we're gonna go into how you program it. I'll just set those aside. And it comes with paper in here. Getting started instructions. We're gonna read through that before we start. Let's see if there's anything else in, in under here. No, there is not. So that's all it comes with, just like that. Put that up. And we're gonna show you in detail, and we're gonna, we're actually gonna activate the cards. So it's gonna be kind of an unboxing activation. And uh, maybe at a later, later video, we're gonna do um, ascending and receiving or something in that manner. But uh, we'll get started. I'm going to give you my take of how simple it is and if this is going to be my everyday crypto cold storage wallet or not. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're back and we've got everything laid out, got the three cards laid out to start. This is exactly how the app will look on Android. Um, you just download it and it's going to say scan card or order card, search for tokens. It's going to come up just like this. Um, so let's get started and let's see how easy this is to do. Uh, NFC is on. Let's do the first scan the card. I'm going to be learning just at the same time that you guys learn. So let's try it. Tap scan, tap to scan. Success. A live term service. Okay. Generate keys privately. Your keys will be securely generated inside the card, so there's no seed phrase. Um, I want a seed phrase, so we're going to pick other options. And I'm going to generate a seed phrase, and this is where I'm going to put you guys on pause because I'm going to generate a seed phrase and write it down. So stand by. Okay, so I put in my seed phrase and wrote it down, and now I have one activated. I wish I could have showed you how the process worked, but basically I went through a 12 seed phrase, gave me my 12 seed phrase. I could have picked 24, but I picked a 12. Um, just for the sake of the video. And now it's asking me, I have no backup cards, which I have two left, add a backup card. So now I'm going to add a backup card. Okay, so it looks like I had to have internet and that's why I wasn't going through it first. So I turned on my internet and it backed up another card. Um, and I wanna add another card. So that's just something for you guys to make sure that you have on because it wouldn't allow me to do it. Um, so I turned back on my internet for it. All right, it says backup card. I'm going to try to show you this one more time as I'm learning, you're, as you're learning, I'm learning. But it's fairly easy to do. And add a backup card. Success. Yeah. 
and I'm going to finalize the backup card. All right, protect, you have to set single access code. Set up a single access code to protect all your cards. You can set up an individual access code on each card later. The access code can be restored and linked with a link card. Do not keep all the cards in one place. Okay, so I am going to set up a access code for all my cards. All right, choose any word, phrase, or number that you want to that you want as your access code. And here's where I'm going to put you on pause because I'm going to get an access code. All right, stand by. Okay, I've entered my access code that I wanted, and this is what comes up after I did it. It says primary card, which is, and it's giving you the digits of the primary card, and it says scan the primary card. So this is the primary card. It's given a countdown. You just hold it there on the back of the phone until it's done. Okay. Backup card number one. Scan card number one. Uh, I'm guessing it's the number one or number two. Backup, oh, backup card number one or number two. Okay, so I put these, it, make sure they're in order and it's gonna tell you the number on there on which card it is. So this is backup card number one. All right, so now it's telling me to do backup card number two. You just hold it on the back of your phone there. And it uh, looks like we're done. Your wallet is confirmed and ready to use. Continue to my wallet. So let's see what the wallet actually looks like. These are all programmed, ready to go. So let's check it out. Would I like to use biometrics? No, not at this time. Biometrics will be requested instead of the access code. Access the app, log in the app and check. Okay, so I don't want to use biometrics right at this time. I'll do it later if I want to. Oh, okay, that's all it is. It's just if you want to do it, and you, I'm sure you can add it later. Um, but we'll see. App settings. So this is it. Scan card, card settings, app settings, support, referral program, terms of service. All right, manage tokens. It's got two already on there. Looks like. Let's see what happens if I tap. Nothing happens. Manage tokens. Okay. So, oh, you can switch it off and on. Let me just switch that off. And it's hide tokens. Let's see if it... Let's see if we can tap anything on here. You're about to hide tokens from the main screen and you can Okay, so just checking it.
Oh, I see. So it hides the tokens if you want to. Okay, I got it. All right. Receive, swap, buy, sell, copy address. All right, so anyway, that's how you get it set up. We can get another tutorial later um, if you guys would like to check out the details of it once I learn it myself. Um, anyway, hope this helps. Take care and enjoy the rest of the day.